this is Peter at Retrofret, and uh, just talking a little bit about the different kinds of alignment rods in Gibson style, bluegrass style banjos. So on a banjo like this, which is a Gibson one piece flange banjo, there's a truss rod in the neck that adjusts the curvature of the neck, and there's a rod in the body that adjusts the angle of the neck to the body. And to get to that, you have to take the resonator off, which means removing three or four bolts that go around the edge of the rim here. So a lot of folks never go inside their banjo. So this is a, the mystery of the Gibson Master Tone revealed. Pull these bolts off and the entire resonator will dismount. Like this. Basically this coordinator rod sets the action height, which is how high the strings are on the fingerboard. If they're too high, it's hard to play. If they're too low, it will buzz and rattle. So the trick on this is you need two things. You need some kind of a drift to hold the rod in place. And you need, if it's a Gibson banjo, a half inch wrench. Essentially, you make sure that the rod here is tight to the screw in the heel of the neck. You do that just by making sure there's no play in there. If it's moving at all, you want to go clockwise to make sure it's tightened to here. Now, at this end, you see that there's nuts on the outside and the inside. If you want to raise or lower the action, you have to loosen one of these nuts. Basically, to lower the action, you loosen the nut on the inside, and you see one little pull, and it starts to spin. And then very carefully, with your box wrench, tighten this one a tiny bit. That will bring the heel of the neck closer in across the rim, and that will make the action of the banjo go down. It will bring the strings closer to the fingerboard. And that's how a Gibson single coordinator rod works.